Hello. Data analysis in SAS involves a range of frustrations. In this presentation, we'll see how Python and tools in its ecosystem can resolve three common pain points. Number one, in SAS, it's not straightforward to run and compare many statistical models. For example, you want to run a few different regression models, then extract some model estimates and create a summary table. In SAS, this involves a number of pain points. First of all, extracting what you need from a proc reg is cumbersome because you have to know the ODS table names, which you have to determine separately. Macro syntax is powerful, but a little clunky, especially when using things like percent eval and percent scan. Finally, something as simple as printing is verbose, not to mention having to use length statements. Using Python is much easier. In one line, we can download a data set and create a data frame, and then print the first few rows using the head function apply to this DF object. What's really cool is that the output is in line. Running a single regression model is just a few lines of code. We define our x and y, run the regression, and then apply the summary function to the regression object. Running bulk regression requires just a simple for loop. Again, for each regression, we're going to save it to a regression object. And then we can inspect this object with tab auto completion. For example, to extract the coefficients and anything else you may want. You can easily inspect it as opposed to looking in some external source. Now we can extend this concept of Python pipelines. In SAS, combining different algorithms would require lots of code and you'd have to heavily restructure it for each new algorithm. For example, here we're going to demonstrate the Python pipeline using a standard scalar to scale our input feature matrix X, then extract the first five principal components and finally do a linear regression. All of this can be done in just a few lines of code with a Python pipeline. Just imagine how much code you'd have to write to do this in SAS. Let's look at pain point two. SAS is not conducive to exploratory data analysis. For example, you want to load some external data, create a few graphics, do some data manipulation, and export the data to a CSV. In SAS, there are a number of pain points. Viewing the plots requires switching to HTML output in a separate window. Merging always requires manual sorting. And often useful functionality is missing or hard to implement in SAS. On the other hand, in Python, the syntax is clean, graphics are in line, and the code is much more logical. And of course, you don't need to run quit statements nor the semicolon. Again, inspecting the data is very easy. And so is plotting, whether it's a histogram or a scatter plot. It's one line, and further, the output is in line. Obtaining the number of rows and columns is also very easy, as is saving the data to a CSV file. Looking at the side by side with the SAS code on the left and the Python code on the right, we'll see that the Python code is much more succinct. Finally, Let's look at pain point three. SAS lacks modern features for doing data analysis. And this list is extensive. SAS doesn't have a clean interface for quick data exploration, doesn't have an interactive mode like a console. The GUI design leaves a lot to be desired. There's no Mac version and SAS is not free. The Python ecosystem solves all of these pain points. Some of them with the Jupyter Notebook, which I've used to do this presentation itself. Now, one more thing, finding help. In SAS, you're often dealing with these long form PDF files where it's hard to copy paste code because the formatting is not preserved. And often what you're looking for is just a single line and you have to wade through six pages of a PDF document. Modern help is much more readily available on Stack Overflow, which is the standard today. And code examples can be found with GitHub. The Python community is extremely active on both of these, as shown here in this plot. SAS is in red, Python is in blue, and we see that the activity on both Stack Overflow and on GitHub is much higher in the Python community compared to both R and SAS. In summary, Python solves many SAS pain points. Number one, running and comparing many models is easy with Python and its pipeline. 
Number two, the Python syntax is conducive to quick data exploration. And number three, the Python ecosystem makes it easy and enjoyable to perform an analysis and share it and to find useful help when needed. If you're interested in getting started with a Jupyter Notebook, you can see this first link and look at the other links for more references. Thank you very much.